Pelicans have talked about bringing up this year and getting some usage out of him. Nice play. Play a role in whether or not a player ultimately gets to that ceiling. And so I think Billy Donovan in that front office. Nice Brian Bowen on a nice slip, slip through and a finish. Simonovich, ball fake. And a pitch out for an open three. There we through. go. Nathan Knight going to work against Dotson. Double team, nine to shoot. They swing it to McDaniels, but it is deflected and stolen, and Williams will take it. What's up, everybody? Yeah, this Bulls Nation station, and I'm back here with another 2021-2022 Chicago Bulls preview. And for today, I'll be talking about my man Marco Simonovic. You know, he was our second-round pick in our draft last year. And a lot of people don't really know too much about him, so I was gonna give a quick little bio. You know, he's from um, he's from Montenegro, so he's from overseas, overseas player. He's 21 years old, um, six foot eleven, weigh 220, and uh, he's been playing since 2017. So he started pretty young. In the position he usually plays is center, but he could also play some power forward, and so. Yeah, he um a lot of people got to check him out recently in the summer league, you know, where he averaged twelve points. You know, he did pretty good. Um give a little bio about him. So pretty much uh he started young. He started playing at the age of seven and then he went to Italy when he was fourteen to start playing professionally. And so, you know, he's still he's still learning, learning on the go, but I think at this point he's you could tell he has a very great IQ and he's been um adjusting pretty well, you know, coming over to the USA playing NBA basketball. He's been doing all that on the fly, so I think he's been doing a pretty good job. And um the thing I like about him is that he's very confident in himself. He knows he has a lot to learn, but he's very confident. Um you can tell on the court he's confident. He's not scared to get down low and mix it up. He's not scared to, you know, defend a player when he's running to the rim trying to dunk, you know. He's not scared to fight for rebounds. And he likes to um, take it down the court, kind of like kind of like Jokic. You know, I've seen a few um, spurts in summer league where he took the ball. He likes to take it down and make good plays, good passes. And so... Yeah, that's actually a great thing to see. You don't really see too many centers doing that. So to see Marco showing the kind of flash of doing that, that's pretty good. He's also made some really nice passes during the summer league. So I feel like he definitely has a um, great IQ. You know, um, he's known a lot for being able to shoot. He didn't shoot too much in the summer league, but I think that'll come with more reps and just more experience. But yeah, um, Marco, he's very intriguing, especially for this team, because he, uh, I put him in the Patrick Williams category. No, he's not as good as Patrick Williams, but I feel like he has a very high ceiling and uh, high potential. And I feel like that, you know, with the right experience, he can definitely reach it. But I feel like he has another high ceiling. And so, um, yeah, he, he did pretty good. Um, you know, he played he played pretty pretty good during the summer league. You know, a few of the highlights that I can remember watching him is that, you know, he did. First off, he, he got dunked on once. But the fact that he wasn't scared to challenge the shot, I think that was very encouraging. And he also dunked on somebody else, you know, the following game or the following couple of games. So... He was like, yeah, I can catch a body, too. And he's not scared to go up and try some crazy dunks. So I think that's pretty cool. But, yeah, um, the thing that surprised me is that Marco actually knows more English than I thought he would at this time because I've seen a couple interviews, so that's cool. But, um, so, yeah, you know, he, he can speak a little, a little English, but... I think a couple of players he said he grew up um, following was Dirk, of course. He said he used to try to mimic and uh, follow his game. And he said now he always follow uh, Nikola Jokic. 
And so that's pretty cool. Um, he follows a player like that. You know, if he can reach even half the player as Jokic, I think that would be a really good plus for the Bulls. And um, he says he's already been, you know, making friends with Vooch and talking to him so he can get adjusted to the team. So, yeah, that's pretty that's pretty good to have a rookie, you know, adjust quicker than what a lot of us thought he would adjust. I feel like Marco is going to be a household name in Chicago. You know, every time I think of that name, I just, I don't know why, I just think of pizza. You know, Marco's pizza. That just got a ring to it. But, yeah, um, as far as this upcoming season, I feel like that he's going to have a very intriguing season as far as his fit and his place because a lot of it, you know, is going to deal with the rotations. A lot of it is going to deal with if Laurie's still going to be there or if he's going to leave and, you know, things like that. But I feel like... um, you know what? I'm, I'm going to be bold with this prediction. I feel like he is actually going to start off the season, you know, third string, you know, backing up. But I feel like with opportunity and uh, him getting more, you know, getting a little bigger, more strength, I actually feel like he's going to find his way into the rotation towards the end of the season. I feel like he's going to... Um, have very productive bench minutes. He's actually going to steal a lot of minutes from Tony Bradley. You know, he's nowhere near as good of a defender or rebounder as Tony Bradley, but I feel like he brings so much intangibles on the offensive end as far as passing and, you know, running the floor because he says he likes to run the floor. So I feel like that's going to be great as far as the – Bench unit, you know, improving the offense. And I feel like as far as his future, his NBA future, I honestly feel like he has a higher ceiling than what people give him credit for. I don't think he's going to be as MVP caliber as Jokic, but I definitely feel like he has the potential to reach an all-star level just off the way he played. And it's going to be, it's going to be pretty dope because, you know, everybody's, coming at the Bulls saying, oh, they threw away their future. We ain't got no future as far as our young players. This guy right here is an example of our future. And so, you know, I feel if he's in the right situation, play the right way, he's trained the right way, get good enough experience around the right players, right coaches, yeah, sky's the limit for him. So definitely looking forward to seeing him throwing that Bulls uniform, seeing what he can do. And um, definitely going to get a lot of him in the uh, preseason. So we are going to see what he got, you know. And uh, thanks for checking out this video. Please like and subscribe. You know, we got a lot more preview videos to come. So Bulls Nation, you know we out.